poor little Yugo, it doesn't have any tires. Well, it has tires, I just need to put them on and we can take this thing out for a ride and get some photos. But on today's installment of Polaroid Point of View, I have something special. It's a classic, it's the Polaroid One Step, also known as the 1000, but I modified this one to take a wide angle lens. And the reason I wanted to use this camera is because of this film that I just found. Polaroid Donuts, it says anything's a donut. What is this? Now it's 600 film, but that's not gonna be a problem. I know these older cameras take SX70 film, but this one's been modified with an ND filter. And you can see here, if you're not familiar with this, that SX70 is right there on the label. If you put 600 film in, it's gonna overexpose everything, but we're set up with the ND filter, so we should be good to go. Let's see what this Polaroid Donuts film is all about. It looks like, okay, we have donut holes and it's just standard round film and we just peel and stick. Okay, so we're gonna just take pictures and turn them into donuts, I guess. So let's load this thing up and take some photos. So I'm thinking my Yugo would make an amazing donut, right? Here's my strategy. I'm going to use the lens. I'm going to look through it, just to get an idea of what the wide angle view is going to look like. I don't know how accurate this is going to be, but at least it gives me an idea. But this first shot, I'm not going to use the wide angle lens. And I don't know how bright it is in here, if it's too bright or not bright enough. So I'm going to snap a photo and see. Okay, it sounded like that shutter stayed open a little longer than I wanted. Yeah, okay. It's a little blurry, but it looks really cool. Let's see what it looks like as a donut. Boom. Tasty. For this next one, I'm gonna set up this tripod and I am gonna use the wide angle lens. I'm gonna get right up on this headlight and I'm gonna snap the photo. My goal here is to fill the entire frame with this car. So let's see. Okay, it was still a long exposure, but at least it's in focus. It doesn't fill the whole frame, but I like the way that looked, that looked great. But what does it look like as a donut? Ah, eh, not bad, not bad. Now I'm just writing down some basic information like where the light compensation dial was, the lighting conditions, just to have that for future reference, hopefully so I can take better photos with this camera. Random side note, this lens lets you get really close to your subject. It changes that focus length to about a foot. Whoa, that is how you drop a camera. Okay, careful with that. We were working pretty hard, so time for lunch. Uh, let me just tell you, this sandwich shop ties the sandwich with a string, and there's a reason for that, because it's an amazing sandwich. Look at this thing. You know what? This would make a great donut. The lighting in here is awful, so I'm gonna bring in the studio light, and we're gonna get this thing right up on it, and I'm gonna set up a little scene here. We got the cookie and the pasta salad. Get the sandwich all ready. I'm gonna get this camera like right up in it. Again, my goal is to fill the whole frame with the sandwich. Okay, I didn't accomplish that goal. I got a little too close and it's blurry, but let's see what it looks like as a donut. I love it. Lunch today is an avocado BLT. Whew. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of blacked out there for a second. Okay, where were we? We're off to a great start, especially after that sandwich, but I'm not sure what to do about this wide angle lens. I'm really wanting to fill the whole frame and I don't know if that wide angle lens is gonna let us do that, but we'll take it with us and see what happens. I'll throw these photos into my little pocket and let's head out. And I got two words for you: Waterfall donut. I wore my off-road shoes today because we are gonna be chasing some serious waterfalls. I'm gonna go to the VIP viewing area down this little passageway here. And let me tell you, when you see this view, this is the view of the waterfall that you want. You ready for this? That's the donut we're looking for. Now, this wide angle lens, I'm trying to fill the whole frame and I just don't think this lens is gonna do a good job. So we're not gonna use it for this photo. I'm just gonna use a standard lens and see how this turns out. And snap a photo. Now, I left the exposure setting a little bright, but it, it actually came out pretty good. Let's see what it looks like as a donut. That's a waterfall donut right there. I'm on this porch and there's a stack of tires and I don't know why it's got my attention. I think it'd be kind of cool, like maybe wide or maybe standard. I think it'd be a good donut. Wait, what am I talking about? There's a cat right there. We're gonna take a picture of the cat. This should be really easy. I'm gonna use a wide angle lens so we'll be able to get really close. No problem, here we go. Oh, come on, cat trying to get a nice cat donut photo. Just cat, just hold still. You know what, here, boom, gotcha. Now there's some lines on the film, but that looks pretty good. 
Let's see what it looks like as a donut. There you go. Cat donut. Classic cat move. Start doing cute stuff after I take the photo. Get out of here. So I was out driving and I saw this flag waving and it's really large and it's close enough that I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll fill the whole frame. So I'm gonna snap a photo right when that wind blows. Here we go. Boom. Let's see how this looks. Didn't fill the frame, but it still looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like as a donut. We've got two photos left. Got this huge caboose just sitting here. See what it looks like, get an idea of what it's gonna look like as a wide angle shot. I think this will be a good donut. We got that classic Ohio sky where it looks like it's five o'clock all day long. I'm gonna crank this thing up, try to get as much light in here, hoping that this caboose will just fill the whole round frame. It didn't fill the frame, but it still looks pretty good. I like the way that composition looks. Let's see what it looks like. That's a donut caboose right there. The readout says three, that means there's one photo left. So let's do a selfie shot. I'm gonna put this camera like right up on my face. This is like five inches away. It's gonna fill the whole frame. We got, okay, it did not fill the whole frame. When will I learn the wide angle lens will not let you fill the frame, but mm, that's a tasty looking donut. Let's take a look at some of our shots. Our cat donut, our waterfall donut, our Yugo donut, our other Yugo donut, sandwich donut. American flag donut, caboose donut, and the selfie donut. This film makes a lot of sense. I mean, people love donuts. They love taking instant photography photos. Why not combine them both, right? And the way these little donut holes work, they're just peel and stick, and you just peel the backs, and the fronts are textured and match the texture of the Polaroid frame, which is pretty neat. And it makes boring round photos look way better as a donut. Polaroid donuts, anything's a donut. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite donut photo. I also plan on taking my modified one-step camera out and shooting some more with it, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Nop Top, go make something. Oh, <laughs>